Anti-D Law welcomes you to the seven-day course for the LSAT India. In this course, you will receive seven lessons each for logical reasoning, analytical reasoning, and reading comprehension. So let's begin with today's lecture. So the set of questions that we'd be solving today has been taken from the third prep test that is given on the uh, official LSAT India website, discoverlaw.in. So in case you want to go and see the original question, you can go and see it there. So this is the entire set of questions. As you can see here, you have the common directions followed by the five questions based on this, on this, on these directions, on the stimulus. So you can pause the video if you like and try solving the question by your own self or you can go along and I'll make you pause the video every now and then to solve the questions individually. So let's just go ahead. Okay, at this point I'd like you to pause the video and try to make some sense of what you see on your screen here. These as you should remember are the directions that are common to all of the questions and therefore you should be in a position to kind of tabulate this in some way so that you have a condensed form of this material here so that when you approach the questions thereafter uh, you can apply these to each one of them. So just take a moment, pause the video and try to make some sense of it and then we will proceed together. Okay, first thing, if you'd paid even a little attention to the question you'd have realized that Shanti doesn't really matter in this question, you see. So Shanti is the person who takes the interviews, who conducts the interviews. So the name of Shanti does not matter in this question because the question relates to the other names, right? So the names that matter are the names of the applicants and the applicants are Gopi, Irfan, Lata, Nasir, Oscar, Rohit and Tarun. Okay, so that's the first thing. Shanti is not a name that matters too much to us. She is just the interviewer. It's important for you to remember that. Okay, so you can see that there are seven names that you have and again, fortunately all of them have, uh, they start with different alphabets, so we can code them with just the first alphabet. So let me write the names of the applicants. We have Gopi, Irfan, Lata, Nasir, Oscar, Rohit and Tarun. Okay, she interviews five out of a total of seven, right? So out of these seven, only five would be interviewed, okay? And then what you can see is she introduced them, interviews them one at a time and then you can see that somebody's ordered second, somebody's ordered first, interviewed first, somebody's immediately after, immediately before or whatever. All right. Which means that there have to be five slots. I'm telling you as to how you look at the question and then learn how to get a structure. Right? Because you need to progress when you see a question. You can't just stare at a question and not move. So as you can see, we need, so we have seven people who have to be fit into five slots. And, and you have to remember that something is immediately after. Okay, also I always say this in every video, but I'll repeat it for you. There's a difference between saying after and saying immediately after. Okay? So what after means is that let us say this is, this, this is a certain position. Now, even 5 is after 2, 4 is also after 2, 3 is also after 2. But only 3 is immediately after 2, right? So immediately after means that there is no gap between these. Uh, so if, if 2 and 3 are immediately connected to each other, so, so 2 is immediately before 3 and 3 is immediately after 2. That's one point to remember. So now that we've seen all of this, let us try to tabulate the data that we've received uh, from these directions. We'll take the directions one by one and see what sense we can make of it. Okay, so let us think of our five positions. We have one, two, three, four, and five. These are the five positions that we have. Let us see what we can add to this. It says Lata is interviewed second or third. That means Lata is either here or Lata is here, right? Okay. Nasir or Tarun is interviewed last, okay? So this will be either Nasir or Tarun. Gopi, if interviewed, is interviewed first. So Gopi, if interviewed, is interviewed first. All right. 
Oscar is interviewed immediately after Rohit if both are interviewed. Now, here you cannot put a number, a, a position to these because they are only talking about after and before. You don't know whether that will be here or whether it will be here or here. You don't know. So what we'll do is we'll not put it on the timeline. We'll just place it separately. Let's place it. Let's place it in this area. Okay. So what we get from from this rule that Irfan is interviewed immediately after Rohit means that if you find both Irfan and Rohit, they would be in this order. So you'll have Rohit and immediately after that you will have Irfan. That's what you can infer. Let's look at the next one here. It says Oscar is interviewed immediately after Rohit if both are interviewed, which means that if you find Rohit and Oscar, they would also be like this. Okay. Let's look at the last rule. Tarun is interviewed immediately after Nasir if both are interviewed. So, so if if both are interviewed, then you have Tarun here and you have Nasir here. What that means is that if you find them individually, they may be anywhere. They could be anywhere. But if you find them together, then they will have to be in this position only. So I think now that we have understood the data that we have received from this from this um, from this little stimulus, we can now go ahead and apply these to the questions, keeping these in mind. Okay, let's start with question number one. It says which of the following could be a complete? So could be a complete list. Now what you what you have to do when you see a could be question is, it's basically asking you as to which of these is possible, right? Which means that if one of the answers is possible, it means that the others are impossible right in a could be question this is how a could be question differs from a must be question in a must be question you look at all situations whereas in a in a, in a could be question you only look whether it is possible or not right which means your target in elimination now is to see as to which ones are impossible so let us say we start off and we want to prove that, let us say the first option that this is impossible. We try to prove that this is impossible. The next one is also impossible. This is also impossible. But we, we find out that perhaps this we could not prove as impossible, which means it is possible. And then that becomes our answer. So let's see whether we can eliminate the options one by one. Let us take, we'll start with the first option. So we keep our positions with us. One, two, three, four and five. Okay, so now we'll see as to whether option A is possible. So it says Gopi, Lata, Irfan, Nasir and Tarun. So it satisfies the criteria for Gopis. So you have that Gopi is first. So you see Gopi is first. All right. Lata has to be in second or third. Lata is in second. That also works. Irfan is interviewed immediately after Rohit. If both since Rohit isn't there, there is no pr problem here. Oscar and Rohit both are not involved, so that's okay. Tarun is interviewed immediately after Nasir if both are interviewed. This is also fine, which means that this is a possibility because I could not prove that it is impossible. So what I do is that I consider A as a possible option. So I just put a tick mark. Now we look at our next option. Let's go to option B. So, so although we found our right answer here, you can end it here, but for the sake of uh, this, this uh, for confirmation and for the sake of this lesson, I will go through the other options as well but in the exam also perhaps you should uh, depending on how much time you have it's always good to be cautious and look over the others so that you are sure that you picked the right answer all right so let's look at option b option b is gopi rohit oscar lata oh so you see that lata has gone to the fourth position but lata should be in second or third that's wrong so what i'll do is i'll eliminate option b because option b is wrong Okay, let's eliminate option B. It's the wrong answer. Now let's look at option C. Option C reads as Irfan Gopi. Oh, wrong. Because if Gopi is there, then Gopi should be first. That's what this says. We eliminate this option as well. This is also not the answer. We go for our last option, option D, which reads as Oscar. Rohit, oh, Oscar is supposed to be interviewed immediately after Rohit. It was supposed to be this and not the other way around, which means this rule has been violated. 
and so I can eliminate option D as well. So option A is the right answer. All right, let's go ahead and look at our next question. All right, pause the video, try solving the question by your own self, and then we'll go ahead and solve it together. Okay, this is a very simple question, but what is difficult about it, or perhaps a little tricky or demanding about it, is to be able to understand this question stem. Understand what this means. You'll find this word complete and accurate quite a few times when you solve the LSAT in their questions, okay? What is the meaning of complete and accurate? When you say something to be complete and accurate, what that means is that let us say there are, um, so you're saying who are the list of applicants who must be interviewed? Now, you know that five out of seven would be interviewed, right? which means in any case, there would be two people who are not interviewed. Now, who are these two who are interviewed? Who, I mean, who are not interviewed and who are these five who are interviewed? We really don't know, okay? What the question is asking you is that out of these five who would be interviewed, who are the people who are sure to be interviewed? So you're saying, who are the persons who will surely be interviewed? The ones who must be interviewed. Now, when you are asked for a complete and accurate list, what you need to say is the list of all of the people who are sure to be interviewed. So let us say you know that perhaps one person, let us say for example, Gopi. I'm giving you an example here. This is not the right thing. I'm just using a name for the sake of explaining the question to you. I'm not solving the question right now. Let us say I take the name of Gopi. Let us say Gopi is one person who is sure to be interviewed. And I say Gopi is the answer. This is accurate, but it may not be complete because it is possible that also perhaps Tarun is also sure to be interviewed and perhaps even Oscar is sure to be interviewed. So the complete list would be the list of every person who is sure to be interviewed. That is what is complete and accurate. So you must pick the list of all of those people whom you can be certain that their interview would be conducted. So let's see what we have, what data we have about this to know as to whose interview is certain. Okay. When we look at Gopi, okay, there is only one point, only one thing that we, one piece of information that we have about Gopi, which is that if Gopi is interviewed, he's interviewed first. Does that make him a person who is certain to be interviewed? I'd say no. So I'd eliminate Gopi, okay, because Gopi is not someone who is certain to be interviewed. Now, the moment I get that, what I'm sure is that it is inaccurate. You get my point? This is not accurate, right? Now, wherever you see Gopi, like you see Gopi here as well and you see Gopi here as well, it means even these have to be inaccurate. You get my point? Because an inaccurate thing is like uh, is like poison. Let's think of it like poison. So now, whether poison is there by itself, even then it is poison. If you put poison in milk, that becomes poison. If you put poison in more milk, that also remains poison. So all of these are inaccurate, right? And therefore, I can immediately say that the answer is Lata. But let's spend perhaps a couple of more seconds to see as to why I chose this, perhaps because the order of these options could have been different. Uh, is Lata certain? Now that we've identified Lata as the answer, let us see if Lata is certain. You see here, it says Lata is interviewed second or third, right? She is the only person who is sure to be interviewed. You will find that, you see, with Oscar, you will find an if right if with irfan you find an if with tarun and nasir being done together you find an if okay now you might want to ask me as to what about this thing here which says that nasir and or tarun is interviewed last true one of these persons is sure to be interviewed 
but you do not know whether it is Nasir or Tarun. So again, there is no certainty. Which means the only person who is sure to be interviewed is Lata and therefore the answer to this is B. As you might appreciate, the main thing that was required of you was to be able to understand the question. Once you understand the question, it's just perhaps a two second solution to this question, right? Let's go ahead to the next question. Take a moment, pause the video and try to solve the question by your own self and then you can listen to my explanation. Alright, so as usual, I will make our positions 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, what you know here is that Irfan is interviewed for so let's put Irfan here. Okay. If Irfan is interviewed fourth, which one of the following must be true? Okay. Which means which of the following is true in all situations? Remember, this is different from a could be true. In a could be true, we look at a possibility. In a must be true, we mean that in all the cases, it should apply, right? So let's see as to which one of these applies in all situations. So we have Irfan here, okay. If Irfan is in the fourth position, right? If Irfan is in the fourth position, now you may either have Rohit is interviewed. Okay, one more thing. Before we go there, let's look at the fifth position. Now the fifth position can be Nasir or Tarun, right? But it cannot be both of these because if it were both of these, then we should have had it like this, right? Because Tarun is interviewed immediately after Nasir if both are interviewed and the fifth position has to be Nasir or Tanvir, right? Which means that our fifth position has to be either Nasir or Tanvir, which means that one of these two persons will not be interviewed. So when I mean Nasir or Tanvir, what that also means is that one out of Nasir and Tanvir is not interviewed okay now we have a total of seven people from which we know that one out of these two is not interviewed so that leaves us with uh, with six more people okay we have to eliminate one more person right because we have only five slots here so let us take a case the first case if Rohit is interviewed next we'll take a case if Rohit is not interviewed now why do I talk about Rohit because Rohit is a person whose, whose case can be seen along with the others. Wait, let me just show you that clearly. So as you can see, Rohit is a case that is linked to the others, right? So Rohit, if Rohit, all right. So let us see what happens. Let's take a case of, um, let's first take the case of Rohit being uh, uh, interviewed, okay? If Rohit is interviewed, it means Irfan is interviewed immediately after Rohit. Rohit can only be here, right? Because we know that if Irfan is interviewed and Rohit are interviewed, this has to be their position. That leaves us with only one option for Lata because Lata has to be either in second or third. So we give her second. Now, we have two choices here. Okay, we can either put Gopi or we can put Oliver because we've lost one of these two here, right? We know that only one of these is there. And if both were here, then this would have been N and T, right? So we know that we've, we've gotten rid of these options. Now, can, can Oscar, can Oscar be in the first position? No, because if Oscar and Rohit both are there, then Oscar should have been one below Rohit, right? So it means that we do not have Oscar. So this is our first case, okay? This is the first case when Rohit is interviewed. Let's take the second possibility. So I'll draw this again for you. We take the second possibility and then we would have got all the possible cases, okay? Again, so our question says that we have I here, Irfan is being interviewed here. As usual, we'd also have the same thing that here we'd either be having Nasir or Tarun, but not both because of the position that I just explained. Here we do not have Rohit, right? So if we don't have Rohit, 
and we don't have one out of Nasir or Tanveer, it means surely we must have Gopi, we should have Oscar and we should have Lata. That's when you can fill in these three places, right? Since these three places can only be filled in with these three people because you can, you have to fill in the five slots, right? So let us see how we can fit in G, O and L. So we are certain that that G, O and L have to be fitted in here. If G is there, G is in position number one. That's that's certain. Okay. Now, can I put Lata here and O here? Or should I put O here and Lata here? You see, if the, the position of Lata has to be either second or third, and when Rohit is not interviewed, the position of O does not matter, which means that both of these two cases are possible. Either I might have an L and O here or an O and L here. Okay. So now we've got all our cases before us. So I can say in the, first, in the sense that this is our first possibility. This is our second possibility. And this is our third possibility, right? So now that we have our possibilities, let us look at the options. Which of the following must be true? Which means that which is the one that is true in all situations? Gopi is interviewed. As you can see, Gopi is interviewed in all situations. So this looks like the right answer. And perhaps I can stop here, but we should go ahead and cross check for the sake of certainty. As I said, if something must be true, then it must be true in all cases. If I can find that something is not true even in, in even one case, it fails the test of must be true. Okay, so let's go to the second option. Oscar is interviewed. Now, when you look at the second option, if you if you see if you see this here, this case, as you can see, Oscar is not interviewed here, and therefore I will eliminate option B. Let's go to our third option that Rohit is interviewed. If you look at this one here, Rohit is not interviewed which means I can eliminate this option as well. Then we look at the third, uh, the, the last option, option D. Nasser is interviewed last. You see, it is either Nasser or Tanvir. Okay. It's not certain that Nasser would be interviewed last. It is possible that it could be Tanvir. In either case, it's possible that it could be only Tanvir. So, uh, it could be only uh, Tarun, sorry, it could be only Tarun, which means that this also is not something that must be th must be true. So we can get rid of this as well. Pardon me if I if I if I used some names that were not right. I just look at the the first alphabet and I, I say a name that comes to my mind after seeing that. So just pardon me if the names that I used were wrong. But I hope you've got the point. You have the answer. The answer to this question is A. Gopi is interviewed. Let's proceed to our next question. All right, once again, pause the video, try to solve the question by your own self, and then we'll go ahead together. Okay, let's try solving this together now. As you can see, it says that if Gopi is interviewed first, and Oscar is interviewed second, Oscar is interviewed second, then each of the following could be true except. Now, when you've seen Oscar, just make sure you go back and look at the rule relating to Oscar. That's the least you should do. It says Oscar is interviewed immediately after Rohit if both are interviewed, which means that if Oscar is here, and Rohit is also interviewed, then Rohit should be in the first position, right? So Rohit cannot be in any position after Oscar. He has to be only in position one if Oscar is in second. On the basis of just this much, go back and look at the options and you will find your answer immediately. You know that Rohit in such a scenario cannot be interviewed because if Rohit were to be interviewed, he would have to be in position one but Gopi is already in position one, which means Rohit cannot be interviewed in this position. 
and if you see the option B, it says that Rohit is interviewed fourth. This is wrong because Rohit is not interviewed at all. Simple question. Let's go ahead and solve the last question in this set. Once again, take a moment to solve it by your own self. Pause the video. Okay, so I hope you give it an attempt. Now, it says suppose the last condition that Nasir or Tarun is interviewed last is replaced with the condition that neither of these is interviewed last. So you have a condition that Nasir or Tarun is interviewed last. Let's just strike this off. Because you know that neither of these is now interviewed last. Okay. But you must remember that the other condition relating to Nasir and Tarun remains, right? This one remains. If all other initial conditions remain, which of the following must be true? Okay. When you see a must be true, it means it's true in all situations. If Rohit is interviewed last. Okay. So let's fill in our details. We know that Rohit is interviewed last. Okay. Now, if Rohit is interviewed last, what are some things we can immediately gather from this? Now, when you've seen Rohit, okay, there are two rules that you have to look back at because there are two rules relating to Rohit here. Okay, let's see them. The rules relating to Rohit are these. Right? It says that if Irfan and Rohit both are interviewed, if Irfan and Rohit both are interviewed, then Irfan would have to be later than Rohit immediately after it. Likewise, if Oscar and Rohit both are interviewed, then Oscar would have to be after Rohit. But as you can see, if Rohit is in the fifth position, that clearly means that these people cannot be interviewed because there is no sixth position. So the inference that I can draw right now is for sure that that Oscar and Irfan have not been interviewed, right? So if Oscar and Irfan have not been interviewed, it means all the others have been interviewed because you see out of seven, you had to pick five. You know that if Oscar and Irfan have not been interviewed, the other five have been picked for sure. If the other five have been picked, it means that Gopi surely picked and if Gopi is, in, is there, then Gopi would be here. Okay. Uh, the next thing that you know is, so you have, then you have, so you, you have the remaining options with you are Lata, Nasir and Tarun for these three positions. You know that Lata will either be here or Lata will be here, right? If, and also now that you know that both Nasir and Tarun are being interviewed, then it is important that they followed this one here, that Tarun is interviewed immediately after Nasir. So if both of these are here, it means they would be in this pattern. Okay. Now let's take for example, if Lata is interviewed in the third position, there are two choices for her. Let us say Lata is interviewed in the third position, then it is not possible for me to fit this block in here because N and T would then be separated by an L. Therefore, what I know for sure is that L, Lata, will have to be in the second position and then you will have N and T here. This is the only possibility with the rules that have been given to you. Now that you have this, you just simply have to look at this and find the one that matches this. And as soon as you do that, you can see that the answer to this is the option D that Tarun is interviewed fourth. Okay. So I hope uh, you were able to learn from this lesson. If you have any queries and if you have a better method of solving these questions, you can let me know in the comment section. I'd be happy to hear from you. Thank you for your patience. Thank you so much.